Hey there, welcome back. I've got a quick little video today um, that's kind of come up because sometimes I'll be using Tick Tick and I feel a little claustrophobic within the app. Well, let me show you what I mean. Let me pull up Tick Tick here. So you'll see here I've got the regular layout of the app. You know, on the left side is all of the the navigation, so all of your lists, your smart lists, your filters, your tags, and so forth. And in the middle pane is all your tasks. So right now I'm looking at my uh, inbox. And then right over here to the right is where the task description is. And you see how small this looks? Like if, if I were to, now wash the dishes probably isn't a good example here, but if I were to, you know, start writing some notes, uh, this is just a little area and I don't know, but the best way to describe it is sometimes I feel claustrophobic in this little area. And so, you know, one thing that you might do is you might try and drag this over to create more space. But even that, I mean, I mean, this is still taking up less than half of the, the application window itself. You know, so you try and stretch the app as much as you can and, and get a little space here. You can also close this left navigation pane by clicking this icon up here in the upper left corner. Uh, next to the list name. So I'll click that. So that allows you a little more space to open. And so that's, you know, that gets you about halfway. That gets you about half of the app. But if you were to take some real notes in here, you'd really want to go full screen. And there's a couple ways to do that. But my favorite way is the keyboard shortcut. Uh, it's control plus alt plus zero. Now the trick is, is you have to have your mouse clicked into the task description itself. So I have to click over here. Then I use the keyboard combination, control plus alt plus zero, and it gives me a full screen. And I can use that same keyboard shortcut to get out of the full screen. And so this is much better in my opinion, because a lot of times I like to have this left navigation open. You know, I'm going from list to list. I'm looking at different tags and filters and I'm going through the different tasks. And let's say, you know, I have, uh, this task here. It's got a little bit of a description in here. I want to add something to it. I just hit control alt plus zero. You know, type my description in there and then just hit the keyboard shortcut again, come back out of it. And just to kind of show you how useful this is, especially for notes, I have a note down here, which is kind of in depth. And again, over here on the right side, it's kind of squashed. It's feeling claustrophobic. I can't really see at least that's the way I feel. I can't, I can't see it. Or maybe there's too much going on on the screen entirely. And just by going full screen, it allows me to really focus on what these notes are saying. So I just have to remember to click over here within the task description or within the note description, control alt plus zero. And now I'm full screen and I'm focused and I feel like I can read this much better uh, full screen. Now, another way to do this, to go into full screen and out of full screen is this format bar down at the bottom, you know, where you normally pick how you want your text formatted. If you want it highlighted, bold, italic, well, over on the very left side is the full screen. Right now it says exit. And you'll also notice that when I hover over it, it gives me that keyboard shortcut. So again, if you forget the keyboard shortcut, just come hover over this button and it'll let you know uh, what that keyboard shortcut is. But here I'll click it and exit. And if I'm in the regular view, I can click it again and go back to full screen. And this calls it immersive writing. <laughs> I kind of like that term, immersive writing. Well, anyways, that was a quick video today. I just wanted to share a keyboard shortcut that I found very useful recently. Uh, I've been using it a lot lately. And just to help me focus if I have any notes or any task description to kind of get rid of the clutter in my Tick Tick app for the moment, focus on one task or one note, and then once I'm done, quickly get out of that task or note and be able to easily navigate throughout the rest of my uh, tasks and notes. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.